She's like, that's just what I'm saying. That. Yeah, just for that. Yeah, just for that. Just, yeah. <laughs> she protecting the nigga now. I'm not protecting. I'm just light saying, skin. like, light skin. She what is he supposed to do? Did you like them lights here, niggas? I like, I like good men. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like. Good men with motion. Good men with motion. Yes, I hate who's like that. You like the one percent, then. Good niggas is good. <laughs> good men with, mo- with oh, motion. With motion. Motion. That that was not for me, for you. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Motion. <laughs> What's your definition of motion? Like, they got their own shit going on. Like, if we go to a club, like that's your shit. You you wasn't the one that put in at the, at the end. Like, you have your own thing going on. Like, what you I don't mean, like. Put up at like, the I end? hate. Oh, this just brings me back to Miles. Like. Don't invite me out if you didn't plan that shit. Like, you, you have to so be the one in say, charge of the shit. You're trying to say you can't fuck with the help. No. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's crazy. You have to have the motion yourself. Like, you have to be the one making, like, doing shit. Crazy, like, I don't bro. know how to put it. That's no, crazy. it's not crazy. Yo, it's what bro. I deserve. I'm not saying you do. You <laughs> each his own, but you can't. deserve it. You so try, who deserves a regular nigga? nigga, say, nigga. Girls it, who like regular. So, so if, if, if a nigga, so if your nigga didn't buy the section, Wait, you can't fuck with him. Wait, we need to do that him. on no, camera, He can put in, he can put in, but it's like, yo, you gotta be the one, like, like starting the shit. It's rolling. It's all, right. it's all right. So I don't understand that if the dude didn't chip in, or if he didn't, if yo my man got the section, and then y'all get there, yeah, and y'all kind of tight, niggas and y'all kinda yeah, tight, you know, I don't like like just, all the plans are based off of your homeboy or like you, there's like the main homeboys and you're the one on the side that's like. Yeah, like you could pull up, but like you can only bring one friend. Like what? Like I'm just gonna go do my so own you thing. Don't deal, like Killer said, you don't deal with the help. Help. I don't like that. Yo, because so if it what? were me, if it were me, I have the motion. Like, okay, you you ask me what's up. Like you're good. Like you I, it shouldn't be. That. No, you from Jacksonville. No, you didn't always no. have motion. I actually always did have motion though. Oh, that's the thing. It might have been slight. It might have been a little nerdy. <laughs> but I had motion. You had nerd motion. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, what is nerd motion? The whole shit is. <laughs> she went uh, fr- She went Frank wife. Yeah, <laughs> Scarface. Yeah, you went straight Frank yeah. wife. Guys. I know you probably ain't see yeah, Scarface. What about the but... regular niggas, though? Regular is fine. You can be regular in hot motion. Like, you have your... Like, what, you... they got, like, a, a Walmart motion? What's um, a regular motion? You can have... Like, if you just have, like, a regular... Like, that's fine if you do, like, regular things. If you... Target? That's, like, honestly... You can take you to eat a corn dog out of the, um... I don't like Picture. corn dogs, but like if then cool, yeah. like I'm just trying to get your <laughs> definition of regular. Regular is like a dude that has a regular job, like nothing flashy, not a social media dude, like just does his own thing. But that's fine because you do your own thing. Oh, okay. I'm that, and that's motion. Like you have your own motion. You do your I, own I thing. I thought you was digging don't, for gold. You're not digging no, for gold. No, 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 no. Okay. Because I just, I really just want a nice man. I don't like. That can everything, but they gotta match me. So you hear that, yeah. fella? She you just nice contra- I was no, about to, I was about to let it go. I was about to let it go, but they gotta match you. So if yes. you're making more than him, if he doesn't have a problem with that, that's cool. Okay, that's what because you like he got a regular job, but he gotta match me. What it's is, like what if most, you make you make more than the average person I, makes. I make more than most men that I know, unless they're doing. Things which I talk to all walks of life, you but switched up, stat. no, that's not switched up. You switched up. <laughs> that's not switched Let's up. Let's get back to the show because you switched up. <laughs> Let's say she acted different now, guys. I'm the same. Okay, five, four, three, two. Love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God, we 
trust, trust me, I don't trust myself. Yeah, jewelry, I get it to no show. I- Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. It will also match your first deposit up to $100, and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Sat Baby, along with your hosts, Mace and Ham. What's up, man? What's up, killer? How you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, man. Feel? Congratulations, man. Likewise, man. Congratulations as well. Yeah, man. In complex. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean... I couldn't have done it without you, but congratulate, <laughs> but congratulations thank to you, you as well, for man. Having me on your team. <laughs> well, no, thank you for being a part of our each other's life. I can't say thank you yeah. enough, man. You know it's crazy. I'm gonna just do what Shannon did. I seen, <laughs> I seen because Shannon, you know, Molly brought it up on uh, first take uh, yesterday morning, and I'm gonna do what Shannon did. Well, I'm going to like to say thank you to a lot of people out here who helped put this together. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this without a fabulous team. My man Mace, first and foremost. Yo, Mace, man, you being my brother and back in my life really means a lot to me. Oh. And, and not just as a co-host, man, and this is no kizzy or nothing. I just really appreciate you as a brother and as a friend and us rekindling our friendship and yeah. can make money at the same time is always a beautiful thing. Uh... Stat, Stat, we really appreciate you. you. Yes, yeah, Stat, I, you get your turns. Let me do mine. <laughs> Stat has been a pleasure to do this show. Um, your professionalism, <laughs> your your expertise, uh, everything you bring to the show is very much appreciated. I like to thank everybody for showing you love as well. I like to thank everybody in Miami crew that yeah. helped us put this together in the very beginning. Um, we couldn't have done been here today without you guys help down there in Miami. You know, my man Smitty, uh, Wiggy, um, Kev, Didi. Kev, Didi, um, Isaac, sound guys. We really appreciate you. And to our new staff that we're working with here, my man Nick, you know what I'm saying? And everybody Woo! in the building that helps put this together. Uh, my Maggie, man Bob, Jeremiah, yeah, my man Tito, my Tito, man Bob, Duke two the G's. God. Uh, Duke ain't really been here. He only here for a minute. <laughs> but I just want to tell all you guys, thank you, man, because we've been doing this such a short time. And for us to be where we're at right now uh, is a really a big deal. So I just want to tell everybody out there who helped us get here, thank you so much, and we really appreciate it. Good. Yeah. And ditto. <laughs> I want to yeah. thank all you yeah. and Big Church. I see yeah. you out yeah. there yeah. doing yeah. security. Thanks, yeah. yes. man. Thank you, Big Church. Anybody I'm forgetting? Yeah, yeah definitely. Thank you, Church. So we appreciate and, uh, it. We want to thank our sponsors, Underdog oh, Fantasy. Man. Let's see. That's why you. This yeah. is why you here. We. None of this, well, it could have been. Not like that, yeah, but, yeah. but <laughs> don't get crazy now. Don't go crazy but, now. But Underdog helped us. They seen the vision, yeah, and they seen that we want to do this full-time, and they understood what, uh, no, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Me, I was thinking one, maybe two, three times a week, May said we should do this full-time, so they understood Mace's vision when it came to um, being a full-time sports show. Because to be honest with you, we probably wouldn't be here without the consistency uh, during this four or five days a week. So thank you, Underdog, for seeing Mace's vision and Mace having the vision to make me see the vision for y'all to help us be our sponsor. Yeah. We take this down. This ain't no sponsor. <laughs> 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 Niggas get no shine. Yeah. Yeah. And and trying. thank you, Cam, for 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 trusting me. Yeah. to deliver, you know? Yeah, man, no problem, man. For That's real, what it's man. about, man. You just threw me the ball in the garden. I knew this was the coming for us. same thing would have happened. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I was watching. I have no idea what I was watching, but I was watching the clip. Yeah. I was watching the clip probably three days ago. I don't know what year this was. Yeah. But you was in the garden. You said last time I was here. <laughs> this would have to be about 2006, about 12 years after. Which about yeah, last time I was here, we was, I was right there. 
And Camden yeah. thought, say, yo, what? This is every, I every time. saw tears on the court. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Yeah, but, that was crazy. Hey, man, but listen, man, I think we make a great team and uh, yeah. better late than never, man. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. And yes, thank you, Underdog. We really appreciate you guys, Nick, and the rest of the crew up there. Super, super dope. And it's not even a year in. It's mm -hmm. just the beginning. Yep. So moving along. You got anybody that you want to shit on? <laughs> we'll give you the chance to shit yeah. on anybody that you like. Thank you, DJ DJ Hines, because he booked all the flights every time we was traveling from. And thank you, Jared, for shooting the shots and posting them on your own page, not waiting for me. You know. Yeah, man. It's a lot of and, people. I hope we don't D forget anybody, man. And and, and King can't say. I ain't shout King out. He's been here for four days. <laughs> King get the next season shout yeah. out. Shout out to my man King, No, That's what's yeah. up. But, um, yeah, shout out to King and everybody else. Yeah. And like I said, I just uh, hope we don't forget anybody because... Uh, and yeah, yeah. And last but not least, shout out to Wallow and Gilly. Thank definitely. you for, for, yeah. for making it happen. Absolutely. Shout out to Wallow and Gilly. And listen, shout out to Stats' parents for trusting us with their daughter and... Yeah. Yes. You know, moving out to a whole other place outside of her comfort zone. I know she's been in college for years, but this was a major move, and uh, her parents have a lot of trust in what we're doing. And so shout out to Stats' parents. We appreciate you. Definitely shout out to mom and dad, because I just kind of dipped, and they saw the vision, so shout out to them. And shout out to the fans for supporting us and watching everything that we do. And it's, I know I always take the high road, but... Y'all, shout out to the dude in my middle school class yeah. who told me that my voice was annoying because now you're going to keep hearing it. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to you, yeah. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Matt. Yeah. Matt. 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 That yes. was, he yeah. was like, your voice is so annoying. Well, look at me now. Now you're going to hear it all the time. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. to tell you. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I Yo, know. Sin, we need a new hotness. <laughs> Yo, Sin, we got a new hotness. <laughs> so, so don't get mad at me. <laughs> The new hotness. Yo. I know it got to be more than Matt, but I know Matt might have been at the top of list. There's nobody else. Because yeah, I just remembered. Nah, we going to keep it. Okay. We, 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 okay. That was bigger, you know. We, yeah, because I never call people yeah. out, but I will well, never forget that. He was mm -hmm. like, your voice is so annoying. Because I always used to read out loud in class about like, History like the slave textbooks and yeah, stuff like that. He probably could read out loud. Like, a lot of people aren't good out loud readers. <laughs> so like, they yeah. might have been jealous. But what we'll do is. <laughs> Once a month is the who you gonna shit on now, stat. Once a month, we'll get the once a month because I know I gotta like be like the Ask Maze question. Yeah, we need yeah, to get you yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, we gotta bring that back too. A lot of yeah. people liked it, that man. You know, it's funny that I was I did an interview the other day and they was uh they actually brought that up like um how you had you know how you had took me to Biggie's house and everything up and they was like yo that was one of the most dopest moments on the show outside of being funny or sports related and everything else. So, yeah, we got to bring the Axe Mace back and sh sh this month, who you shitting on stat? <laughs> Moving forward. Uh, okay, yeah. well, even though we had a great start to our week, you know who didn't? The Miami Dolphins. They had a rough game, losing to the Titans 28-27. to The Titans were down 14 in the final three minutes and came back with the dub. How do you feel about Miami's loss? Something is going on in Miami, for real. When you when you think about this game, I know you expect Henry to do what he did, but but this this Dolphin team it it's, it seems like it's unraveling right before our eyes. Like they started out so like white hot, pause, white hot. Is that a word? White hot. I mean, I'm about to say it might <laughs> yeah, be a word yeah. now. It started out white hot, and now it just seems like. Something is going on, and I think it's something we don't know about because when you look at the you look at the stats of the team, Mo Monstert, he he's not. Mostert. I mean, he how you say Mostert. his name? Mostert. Mostert. Uh, forget it. It's okay. <laughs> Just the running back. The running back. He he's running well, but I think every time they get a chain of ball, they really win. Other than Tyreek Hill, and it doesn't look like they did that this time. And also, Tyreek Hill doesn't get a get a touchdown. They're not really supposed to win as he goes, as, as, as the team goes. Tua did well, but, I mean, he did all right, but he got sacked too many times. 
And whenever you're not protecting the quarterback, you're really not supposed to. Really, son. What do you think, Killer? I'm not going to give no bunch of credit to the Titans. Um, Tyreek ain't playing niggas ain't going to win. Tyreek was hurt a lot of that game. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was hurt. It looked, they looked like a uh, real shell shock without uh, Tyreek Hill. And to me, the Miami Dolphins go as Tyreek Hill goes. Uh, I was talking to a Miami fan that we know closely that's be sitting on the roof yeah. here. So y'all ain't shit without Tyreek Hill. He said, like, don't want to be in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Bob don't want to be in the room. Yeah. Somebody yeah. put an ABB out for Bob yeah. right now. Yeah, so I asked so I said, yo, y'all niggas, as the game is going on, I say, y'all niggas ain't shit without Tyreek Hill. He talking about, and I fucked the game plan up, and that, that's the reason. Well, y'all don't have a backup plan <laughs> if Tyreek Hill goes down. That's, this whole game plan is just fucked up. Um, that little nigga fast, though, pause for real. Yeah, and it's kind of like, um, I know they put him in for some decoy plays a few times and um, so on and so forth, but to me, it's kind of like the 49ers, to, you know, not to that big of an extent, but... We've seen this happen when McCaffrey goes down or when Debo goes down or when Purdy's not playing. When they don't have their core players, or Kittles as well, when they don't have their core players, they're not the same team. And I know it wasn't three or four players that went down, but they look real pedestrian when Tyreek Hill wasn't on the field. And whether they fuck their game plan up or not, you should definitely have a backup plan because what happens is you can train all week or practice, or look at film, or do whatever you need to do to guard Tyreek Hill. But it's almost, I'm not comparing him to Michael Jordan, but if you don't have the speed, you just don't have the speed. And a lot of times, these teams don't have the speed. You could put, you could go in zone. You really don't want to try man to man. You're going to be playing yourself yeah. man to man. Playing yourself. You're playing yourself. So um, zone coverage doesn't always work. This kid's speed is out of control. And when he's not on the field, you could prepare your defense a little better for the Miami Dolphins. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, I like when their teams. I like when teams try to play the man to man because then they start looking like flag football. Yeah, it, it looks real stupid. It's entertaining for us, probably a nightmare for whoever's on the defensive side. What I will say is, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'm I'm about I would say 85 percent sure that teams are up 14 points with three minutes left were zero and 196, and now, they're, <laughs> <this> is, <laughs> and, yeah. and now they're one in 196. So uh, that was probably the first time that happened in the last three minutes uh, in a regular season, I should say, when I was looking at some stats yesterday. Well, also speaking of the Dolphins, when Tyreek Hill got hurt during halftime, he texted his wife, this shit hurt. I need an ankle massage tonight. In response, she said, you better get your ass back in that game, dog. So how do you feel about the way that she encouraged him to keep playing? She said, dog? <laughs> That's what he said, yeah. Mm. I like her. I've never <laughs> met her, but I like, I like, I like her mindset. Thanks. Yeah. That, to me, that it's a couple of things I take from that. You fucking her parlay up. <laughs> she, she had money on this game. Or she's showing off for some friends that's in the house. Yeah. And you you can't be fucking up for the friends in the house. Listen, man, a lot of times, and I don't I I've I've, I've no idea about Tariq Hill's girlfriend or wife or who's dating or anything else. But tough love is the best love. You know, you think it's the best love? Not all the time. Sometimes it, it sometimes it backfires. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works, and then they don't fuck with you after it works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's times where, where you could be like, uh, you could turn somebody to the best basketball player they could be because you've been harassing them since three years old, training, jogging yeah. up and down, down the hill, go to practice, come home, do this, and then they could be like, they get rich and they be like. This was your dream. <laughs> I don't <laughs> fuck with you like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we you can look at uh, that's ungrateful, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, 
Look, man, Michael Jackson stopped fucking with Joe Jackson. Yeah. You know, that nigga whipped him. You got him the in. spin from Joe. Yeah, listen, nigga whipped him into a superstar, beat the shit out of Michael, turned him into a superstar, and the nigga like, yo, you fucked my life up with all this shit. You know, you can look at and I'm, and they still fuck with each other, and they're, they have a great um, mother-son relationship, but yeah. look at Terrence Crawford tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gave niggas money to say, if you could beat my son, I give you, I offer I'll give you ten dollars if you could beat him, and nobody that was can. Before he's a boxer, right? Yeah, this is when he was yeah, a that teenager. Was definitely yeah. tough. Yeah, this, this is definitely this to- toxic love. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, Oscar De La Hoya's father. He's been looking for his father to say that he loved him, and then his father never told me he loved him till he lost the fight. You know, so. Wow. You, you know, some people, and I'm, this is totally different because you're dealing with a significant other, and I'm talking about parents, but, um, you you know, she may have that authority. Get the fuck back out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know where she's from, but, you know, he's from Georgia, dirty south, you yeah. know, uh, and that's how they're going to give it up sometime. You're embarrassing me. Uh, a little, I know you're not crying over a little ankle. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's all those different scenarios. If I knew who she was, I had an idea of her personality. I could elaborate better. But look, I'm not saying that's the right answer, but at the same time, I understand. Yeah. Another quarterback injury. It's been reported Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert is out for this season with a fractured index finger. How do you feel about that? I mean, he was trying to play through it. When 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 they showed they showed him on the sideline a few times he tried to he tried to play with it already broken. It's I mean I know it says fracture but it looked crazy. It looked like it wouldn't it wouldn't go in the right direction, and and he was just out there running around. I thought he he could really um cause himself further injuries. I think I think it's time to revamp the staff over there, in um as Los Angeles Chargers. I think it's definitely time to revamp that staff. He's too good of a quarterback for them to be getting this kind of output. And it, and I think the the injury makes it a great reset um reset opportunity. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. He's been he's been playing as good as he can in that system. Um I really I must say cuz that I may the end of Mace's uh, statement is exactly what I was going to say. This is a great time to sit it on down. You're not going to the playoffs. Uh, it's just looked like a mess all year. And the one thing that I will say is that Justin Herbert been playing through everything. He has not complained. He did not cry. Um, he's not talking bad about the team publicly. He's not talking bad about the coaching staff publicly. And I'm not telling you to do that, but sometimes that's what it takes to get some things done. Um, so I think this is a good time for him to sit down and then they can figure out what they're going to do with him and the rest of the team and the staff next season. The one thing I will want, but I do want to say though real quick, because we don't have that on the list today. Um, it's shout out to Joe Flacco, man. He making Ohio look all right, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, he got all the guys <laughs> and got to it. Got to it, man. And listen, I, and, and, I don't want it to be reverse racism or anything like May says, but <laughs> he's looking way better than the black quarterback looked yeah. in two games. And, you know, right now the Browns are in a wild card position. Poor. So yeah. uh, yesterday, they pardon me, on Sunday, he had 311 yards. Uh, to me, he outplayed um, Trevor Lawrence, and they got the victory, and it yeah. put them at 8-5 and five in the AFC, uh, right in the mix for uh, a wild card spot. So I know we was talking about Justin Herbert from from one quarterback to the next. Uh, I salute you, Joe Flacco, for coming up off the couch and niggas actually forgetting about you and you busting ass. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain, with this performance and, or this last couple week performance, and if you could keep it up to the end of the season, you'll have a job next year. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely getting a deal with somebody. Yep. Cornerback DJ Reed shared that Zach Wilson told him, I got nothing to lose. What's the worst thing that could happen? I get benched again? So how do you feel about Zach Wilson's mentality? He's right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Welcome to fearlessness, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fearless is to have fear present and to actually still, still do what you was going to do. 
And I think I think for him, that's when you start either playing better and taking risks. Because even the the move he tried to bust against the last, I forgot who they played, but when he when he got the ball punched out of his possession, he was trying to be fearless then. So I think sometimes it takes a person to come to the end of themselves to say, man, let's just go for it. So I think that's what's going to happen here. Not that anything great is going to come out of it, but he's definitely getting to a place where he's could potentially try the ball. Yeah, they just got rid of the third string quarterback, the original third string quarterback. So he's like, "What are you, what y'all gonna do? What, yeah. what y'all gonna do? There's nobody else really here. Uh, the Jets don't look like they're making the playoffs. They're five and eight with a couple games left. Uh, right now, he's just playing for stats and hopefully to keep a backup job with the Jets next year when Aaron Rodgers returns. But I mean, that's one of them joints like. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna you gonna bench me? I'm so scared. Ooh. So, so he should have taken full advantage of this time. And that's what he did not do. He should have taken more advantage of this particular time with with um Aaron Rodgers out. He was supposed to at least play halfway. I really wanna give a good commentary to it. He's all that time he's watched Aaron Rodgers. This shows that Zach, you learned nothing. You you wasn't watching anything, Rogers. I gotta disagree with that. The reason I disagree is because no, I'm not not disagreeing with what you're saying. Disagreeing with this isn't what they laid on the table for him. <laughs> what they laid on the table for him was watch Aaron Rodgers this season. <laughs> yeah. And after this season, you can see what to do. So. You get, yeah, Aaron, okay. you get Aaron Rodgers three minutes and they're like, oh, that didn't work. Get the fuck out there, niggas. <laughs> like, yo, hold on, man. I wasn't supposed to be out there this season. I was supposed to be learning all season. And next season or the season after, if Aaron Rodgers feel like he couldn't play no more, then I'll be ready. Look, you got a Zach Wilson who stunk it up last year and that's the reason they brought Aaron Rodgers in. And now... He like, okay, I'm like, to agree with you, it's like, yeah. okay, I'm learning the preseason, I'm learning this. But the plan was to watch Aaron Rodgers this season and learn from him. But to your credit as well, Murder, the, the, the slogan is every, any given Sunday. Yeah, any, and, given, any Sunday. given Sunday. And then the next slogan is next man up. Yeah. So this, this could happen at any given time. And Zach Wilson, you should have been better prepared. But I get where you're coming from, Zach. This was not the blueprint y'all laid out for you. Like, yeah, we got Aaron. I can sit back, relax, not a lot of pressure on me. Three minutes into y'all season, pressure is on top of y'all, so. Yeah, that nigga's still going out on Saturdays, and they play on Sunday. Yeah, so at the end of the day. So they just going to cruise through. Yeah, but but you live in New York City, and you, or you play in New York City, so that's what you have to deal with, so. Um, and then in that game, for context, because it was before their game versus the Texans, he did throw for 301 yards, had two touchdowns and zero interceptions. So that was one of his better games. But granted, it is against rookie quarterbacks. Well, well who would you rather have? C.J. Stroud? I would rather have C.J. Stroud. Me too. <laughs> like, so we yeah. had a rookie quarterback that we would rather have over a quarterback that's yeah. not a rookie. Yeah. Okay. Moving along, Robert Kraft has reportedly already made a decision regarding Bill Belichick's future with the Patriots, and it's not looking too hot. He said, we like to win, so we want to do everything we can to get our team back so we can be winning it. What do you think the decision should be? I mean, rumors are saying that he's going to release him. It's not confirmed, but what do you guys think? What was the exact quote? He said, we like to win, so we want to do everything we can to get our team back so we can be winning it. So niggas say that and equate it as niggas not fucking with Bill Belichick no more? Basically, yeah. But how do you get that from that quote? So basically during the Pat McAfee show, um, he was asking the future with Belichick and that was his answer. And so that's been the rumor. I'm not going to say that they are releasing him, but that's what's being said. So it's like saying it without saying it. But that ain't what he said. <laughs> that's, you know, that's how false... Right. False reports get out. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's exactly how false reports get out. That's why I, I want to get the exact right. verbiage. 
What do you think about us and Bill Belichick? Well, we want to do everything we need to do to win this, that, and the third. So I get that could be saying that. Right. But that isn't exactly what he says. Yeah. So when you don't get rid of Bill Belichick, you be like, I never said that I was. I said that I yeah. was going to try and get us back. I'm open to- it. Pause. I'm open to modifying what we're doing. Yeah, right. exactly. So I wouldn't say that that's what he said because I believe if Bill Belichick wants to come back, he could come back. I believe that uh, he earned that much cachet with the New England Patriots that it's almost a Golden State situation. Right. Yeah. Like, but he won't be cooking that. and buying the groceries. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Which I, one you think he'll be doing? Well. He hasn't been doing good at buying the groceries or cooking. <laughs> but I think if you ask me, he'll want to be on the field. But at the end of the day, I don't really know uh, his health. I think he looks great, and I'm not yeah. as, I'm not even acting like something's wrong with his health. But we do have to take into account he's 71, 72, or 73 years old, and that could be draining. A lot of people don't realize that coaches do more than players. I'm not talking about as far as uh, physical or being on the court, but drawing up game plans, staying, getting there before the game, getting there after the game, getting film together so players can see the film. That shit could get draining if you don't love it. And I'm not saying yeah. Bill Belichick doesn't love it, but if you're not winning, it starts to get frustrated. Yeah, you can't, you'll you hardly ever see, like, happy coaches for a long time. Unless you're winning. Yeah. Unless you're winning. Right. And then just to add for more context, because that's why exactly I like to read the quotes, because that has been the rumor like, oh, Belichick's going to be out. And I like to get you guys' opinion on it. So after Robert Kraft said that, Pat McAfee said, I don't envy your position. What's about to happen, we all know. Mm -hmm. So that's alluding to Belichick being fired. Yeah, there will be a modification. There will be a modification. But if none of this happens, niggas can say, I never (laughs) said that this is happening. You know, they're they're all alluding to it. What I will say is this, and we never talked about this on the show. And uh, we maybe we need to do it one day before when we wrap up. But did y'all see Bill Belichick creeping out of joint house in Rhode Island like 6 in the morning with no shirt? No. They caught him on the ring. <laughs> you seen that, Nick? <laughs> yeah, we got to Google that. On the ring? On the ring camera. Yeah, Google that shit. We going to throw it up on the screen. They got the nigga Bill Belichick chest naked. <laughs> coming out of somebody's crib <laughs> at six in the morning. So Bill's still out here. Bill's still <laughs> creeping. Bill's still doing what he's doing, man. We didn't get a chance to touch, touch on it. Pardon me, all my allergies are acting up today. But um, yeah, Bill's still creeping, man. So if he got time to do that, he got time. He to, got time. He got time to coach. And listen, man, it's only a few great coaches in the NFL. I mean, it's a handful. You know, you love Mike Thomason. Uh, Bill Belichick, of course, Andy Reid in Kansas City. Wait, Bill was coming out the crib in the winter with his shirt off? Was it winter, though? Yo, Google Bill Belichick. That's a video right there. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it winter, though, is what I want to know. It looks like regular... Whatever Dang. it is, that ain't his house. And they got him creeping. Bill is Bucky. Niggas <laughs> 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 caught him on the ring. And, yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> Who crib is that, though? Bill creeping. <laughs> Bill with the sneaky link is crazy. Just let me rise. <laughs> yo, pause. Yo, Bill was playing Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Well, the video is searchable, so there you have it. Um, Let us know in the comments what you think Bill Belichick's future is with the Patriots. We're going to go to break. And when we return, we will talk about athletes that just haven't improved their game. Don't go anywhere. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option Maybe I 
got my own problem, babe She tired of hearing, I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about she it She wanna be free Why am I here this one? She wanna be free Walk away. I, I wish somebody told me the rules. Disagreements let her win, and it's cool. Even when I'm right to sing about you. Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. This afternoon, the Pelicans will play the Wizards. Underdog fantasy has Brandon Ingram at 23 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace. Who are they playing? Um, the Wizards. Yeah, you get. Hi. Higher, okay. Kyle Kuzma is at four and a half assists. Do you have him higher or lower cam? Higher. But, and Jordan Poole is at 16 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower at Mace? Higher. Pool party is time to get going. Go higher as well. Okay. Make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. Okay, so last episode... We talked about Gilbert Arena's views on Clay Thompson not having improved his game. Are there any players that you feel like haven't improved their game, haven't gotten better? Any players that come? I definitely got one. Players who have not improved. Mm-hmm. Um, let's start with Ben Simmons. I don't know how we could not have been on the list. I can don't come. start that he's hurt. That he I, is. Like, I, I, I can see you is, looking for like, his injuries. He is. He's all right, hold on, Murder. I'm gonna, hold, on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I want you to finish. What happened? Why is he hurt? He has a nerve impingement. So something, something, something in his nervous system. Boy, been out for a couple games. Like let's, I, I don't know how the progress is, let's, but let's I'm like say, he is hurt. Let's 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 do a few things. He's nervous and he got the nerve to even still be in the NBA. That's what it is. The nerve and he's nervous. Sorry, Murray, to cut you off. I want no, to know, did you? Right. <laughs> the audacity. Yo. This nervous system, bro. Allegedly, Ben Simmons, you're always hurt. And I, you, I just don't get it. Like how he was so. Promising as a as a as a NBA player, like that first year, then the second year, then it's like, what happened? Are we allegedly just putting this all on girls he date? I'm not gonna say any names, but what this, Listen, this was the quickest get out. Oh, <laughs> I've ever seen. It quick. It's quicker than the movie. <laughs> yeah, this is quick. Yeah, it was quicker than Reggie Bush, I think. Yeah, look, um, and I don't know this for a fact, and I really don't like to get out. Yeah, it, that's what it seems like. I, it, I really don't <laughs> like to. I really don't like to make false accusations. This is just a camera on assumption. This has nothing to do with anything <laughs> else or anybody else. And I could be totally wrong. This is my assumption. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's just, it's nothing bad at all. It's just what I think was you was playing around with that mental health shit. Not saying, because I don't want to say he wasn't going through mental yeah. health. Because that shit is a serious topic. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm trying to be clear on how this is what I think. Yeah. You was trying to get out the contract. You got out your contract and you use mental health as part of it. And now it's coming back to haunt you. Uh, karma. You play. You can't play with certain shit. The universe is some real shit. Yeah. And when you sit there and play. It's like getting a sick note. Did yeah. not go to school and now yeah. you're sick for real. Right. It's the movie Thinner. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, yeah. you know, you can't play with certain <laughs> shit. Like, yo, I'm a superstitious ass nigga. Like, you know, you know, um, oh. I, I be having stomach problems sometimes. I'm like, when I was younger, a couple years ago, and I all equate that to I used to be playing in her wheelchair. Niggas say, stop playing. I will. I, I want to play games in a wheelchair. I want to do wheelies and I want to do all type <laughs> of shit. Now I have a permanent stomach <laughs> problem for playing yeah. games. Yo, handicap spots in this park, 
Yeah. I walk around it. I don't even walk on it. I don't even touch it because that spot could be potentially your spot if you really want to park. They need to be using it, parking the handicapped spots mm-hmm. you know, instead of walking the extra 25, 30 feet to go where they got to go. I'm a very superstitious person. But to me, like I said, I don't want, I'm, this is all cameras thinking because you may have been really been going through mental health issues. But it seemed a little forced, you know. Uh, your phone was falling out your pocket in practice. Uh, your back's hurting, but you wasn't, that mentally ill to go back to get your $20 million that they have to give you because your money was guaranteed. You've doubled back for that. So I don't want to sit there and say he was playing with it, um, mental health or anything like that. But this could be karma because he definitely has not improved. I think this is bigger than Clay Thompson, actually, Mace. This was a great athlete to bring up on people who have not improved. Yeah, um, have not improved at all. Right, and stat, she may be finding a reason to say his nerve index, whatever injury it is, and what is what is he uh, supposed to do if he's injured? My question to stat is this. When is he not injured? <laughs> like, he's been injured since he left. He was injured in Philly before he left Philly, then got injured when he was in Brooklyn, now he's been injured this season, and he doesn't shoot. You know, um, this is bigger than just injury, but if you want to believe is he got a pinched nerve, that's fine with me, Treasure. The first name is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I have not heard yeah, Cam or Mace call me Treasure, treasure. in forever. Yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. was very much so. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> yeah, there's no problem with me, but... Um, <laughs> What you think? And I, and I hate to bring this up because this is my man. This this is my people. What you think about P.J. Tucker? He haven't improved. That's um, what I'm saying. I'm throwing some names out there, possibly. Yeah, shout out to P.J. That's my guy, but we just, I mean, we're doing a job. He's okay. improved his fashion. <laughs> he's improved his fashion. Yeah, he's definitely. He'd definitely be swagged up, but. He's definitely a, a fashionable guy. Man, you know, but... you know, another person, I don't want to say they're not improved, but it seems like the last two seasons, he's always hurts. Adams down there in Memphis as well. Yeah. He's not available, you know, but at the end of the day. He um, have not improved. Right. What you think about Cal Kuzma? I have not improved. I was thinking the same yeah, thing. Yeah, Cal Kuzma. Uh out of best. Who else? Um, what's his name? Down there in Orlando. <laughs> what's um, Greg Anthony's son. Cole Anthony, Cole Anthony. haven't improved that much. Well, they're winning. They're, 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 they're well, he done. haven't improved. I don't know. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I, I'm be honest with you. I'm trying to pause, set the fire. No, on you, you know better than me. I, after yeah. I see him in that dunk contest when Timberland's eyes turned off, I stopped paying attention to the nigga. He will up here construction the dunk contest and it really irked me. Well, so, um, so I have a list of actually a couple names. Um, what's that? Lonzo Ball. He's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. Why you don't mention him being hurt and Ben Simmons? You got something going on I, with Ben Simmons. I said that. <laughs> I said he's hurt. Yeah. Who's the list you got? Okay, so you guys know I go deep into like these little blogs to see what people are saying. Um, so some people are saying Trey Young. You, you agree, didn't get you better. Yeah, I'll just name a couple people. He's no, definitely the no, same player. No, let's stop player. that when you name somebody. Okay. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah, he's definitely the same player. And I didn't know when we was talking about who did not get better if they're already good, though. Because there's a lot of players that are good that are that haven't got better. Um, this is a great Andrew point. Andrew Wiggins hasn't gotten better. Well, Clay Thompson haven't gotten better. R.J. Barrett. Andre Barrett. And, and, when, and when we say get better... We mean you're running a steady mouse or yeah. something. Not, not so, necessarily went down. Yeah. It's, like it's, like Kobe, when he would come back, he had another part of his game that was different than last year. Mm-hmm. That he's now ready to take another step. Like Ant-Man, he looks like he got better over the summer. Right. Some people look like they just trying to stay the same. There's a lot of players now that you think about it like that. Right. Um, Julius Randle. Julius Randle. He because he actually received most improved player two years ago, and, and then he stayed the same. Actually, Bear got a little worse numbers wise. What about um Ingram? That's a good one. I, I never really, I haven't paid attention, but that you know we were so focused. You know that was a great yeah, point. We're right. so focused 
we're so focused on people who's going down. Yeah. But it's a lot of people who still run the steady line that has not gotten better. So we have to pay attention to the question and maybe revisit it. But this is great. This is this is really That's a great. really good um Kawhi. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard. Absolutely Kawhi. So I man Paul, Paul Paul Goldis Paul's picked it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I would I would get Kawhi actually may have gotten a little bit worse from the Kawhi Leonard that we're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the last couple of people I have just Yeah. DeAndre Ayton, Kyle Lowry, Rudy Gobert. Definitely. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry's just getting older, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's getting older. And yeah, I, I wouldn't I, have put Kyle in that list. Yeah, because Kyle is um, Kyle's on the tail end of his career, and I think that he's doing great for where he's at in his career. You know, is he the Kyle Lowry from the Raptors? Absolutely not, but you're in the back of role, um, giving some veteran leadership to the team. And hitting some key shots when it's happening. If you're gonna say Trey Young, would you put Murray there too? I wouldn't put Murray there because I don't know if Murray wants to be there, and I don't think that they're gelling. You could put him there technically. About did he get better? Yeah, I don't. Is he better than what he was in San Antonio? I don't think we're getting a chance to see if he could be better or not. I think that he's that's not the right system. But if you're being technical. And answer the question, no, he hasn't got. If I have to answer, yeah, if, you're, if, you're, get better. Yeah, if you're putting my back against the wall, pause and telling me answer the question, then I have to say, no, he is yeah. he has not we gotten better. We fool with Murray here. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving along, we got to talk about the Pistons again. As we know, they have a very poor record with a 20-game losing streak. Wingstop is offering five free wings if the Pistons <laughs> win. Is this a good yeah, promo nigga, idea? Niggas messing up the par the parlay for the wings is crazy. <laughs> nigga come to the game. Come on, my nigga. Hit them shots. Who they who they playing? Um, next. What? what Yo, what, what happened to the the coach? When I, I thought when he I, knew I, what he was doing. When I when I say Sixers. when, when I, they're playing the Sixers, when well, I, I ain't getting no wings. But I, what I'll say is this. Is there a food shortage up there in Detroit? Like, everything is food-related for victories. Like, isn't that the yeah. same team we was talking about the other day? If they get three wins in a row, that the coach is going to take them to dinner? Now, now if they win. Five wings <laughs> in Detroit. Yeah, Look now at you get a pack of wings if you win. Like, what is going on with the... the, the if, you, if you win, you eat, pause type shit. And this, they plan in... I mean, they're they're playing the Sixers, so ain't gonna be no wings. Yeah, <laughs> niggas ain't getting no wings. Yeah, but but I, I, wings start trying to look like they doing something good in the hood. Yeah, cause they know them niggas ain't gonna get no wings. I yeah. give you five wings <laughs> right now <laughs> if y'all beat your hell and B. Yeah, and so you know? the wing, are the wings for the fans? Um, yeah. Oh, it's just like Pistons, and then also the food incentives was for the Raptors. Okay, the Raptors yeah. part of me. Yeah, that's like that's like growing up. I remember this. Like when me and Killer, we went to a school called um, Man Center for Science and Mathematics. So, and this, I need a disclaimer for this. This is allegedly. <laughs> this is a satire show. Everything we say is not actually true. It's exaggerated. But I remember going past the special ed class, right? <laughs> 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 and they told one of our friends who was in the in the special ed class that um they were gonna get <laughs> let me not just because yeah, I, I know who was in there. I don't know which part I think I know what you talking about. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That was one of our yeah. friends. Yeah. We're not talking about our special And, that, and listen, yeah. a lot of y'all wouldn't befriend friends in special ed. <laughs> Me and they have a few friends in special ed. We have about three, four friends in special ed. A lot of y'all wouldn't befriend yeah. friends in special ed. So go ahead, man. No, the guard, the guard that we knew, he tells them he's buying pieces for everybody. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> if they get a if they get a C on the test, but we know they're not gonna get no this guy with not them, not them, allegedly. Is whatever <laughs> they do, he wasn't gonna get a C. <laughs> Yo. So it's a way to look like you're being a good Samaritan because you know the thing that's going to be required, you're never going to have to live up to your part. Right. So because I come by, I come back, he's rolling his his, his <laughs> boogers over. <laughs> this, is, this is our friend, so it's not against everybody. This is yeah. our friend. Yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So when I saw him in the cafeteria, I said, why he tell y'all y'all was going to get pissed? I don't know that nigga. <laughs> yo, he was never going to get pissed. There, there, there. The reason this may not be as funny to y'all is because <laughs> my mind is in the cafeteria <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, he knew he was going to get off me, Oh, 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 <laughs> if y'all think y'all getting wasted out, <laughs> y'all have <laughs> some damn mind. <laughs> In translation yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to what's yeah. going on, man. And we love Detroit. Shout yeah. out to Trick Trick. Shout out to the No Fly Zone. Yep. It's just y'all not getting no wings. <laughs> 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 yeah, yo, yo, yeah, no wings. yeah. Oh. And, and and it's a great market employee for Wingstop as well. Yeah, um, because they make them look like they're being generous, but they're never gonna have to cough up any wings. Right. That's basically what we're saying. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. satire. Okay. <laughs> well. The Celtics, they defeated the Cavs 120 to 113. The Celtics are first in the East with the 17 and 5 <laughs> record. Right under them are the Magic oh. and Bucks. How are we feeling about the Celtics being first? Well, when they got, let's, let's just back up a little bit, okay? When the Celtics, like Killer said earlier in the, in the season, when they got Porzingis, they are the top team. They're like, they're, they're a championship team. I'll go as far as saying they're a championship team with Porzingis. Um, when they don't, when they do not have Porzingis, they're just another team out there. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how um, Holiday is going to gel because I think he has to become extremely more assertive in order for this to be a championship team. So, Holiday, if you're paying attention to this, you got to really turn up. You cannot just be a defensive player. I think that's going to help y'all win. Say. I um, agree. Um, when Porzingis there, they look like head and shoulders for us above the rest of the East. Uh, Bucks included, which was both our pick, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely my pick to go to the championship and win the... Uh, Eastern Conference, um, that's not working out as well as it, I thought it will now. It isn't like the Bucks are far out of first place there. I believe a game and a half right behind the Boston Celtics. But what I was thinking that the Milwaukee Bucks would have at least a three, four, five game lead on the rest of the Eastern Conference at this point in the season. That was just my thinking prior to the season starting. But uh, the first eight, nine games when Porzingis is playing with the Celtics, they look like they're the best team in the East. And when Porzingis is, isn't there, it looks like the Celtics from the last two or three years. I think that Drew Holiday is a step up for Marcus Smart, but is it enough to get you over the hump to beat Denver or even Philadelphia for that matter? 
or even the Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe the Milwaukee Bucks may take some time to get things together and they may go on a run. But with Porzingis in the lineup, like Mace just said, they look like head and shoulders above the rest of the Eastern Conference. Um, I don't support it, but I do recommend it for this only this particular situation with low management because Porzingis is always hurt. And if you know that that makes your team that much better, you need to monetize his minutes and monetize his games so that when the playoffs come, you don't have to go through this when the playoffs get here. In a close game, the Mavs came out victorious, 127 and 125 against the Lakers. In the West, the only teams above them is the Thunder and Timberwolves. Thoughts? Um, that end season shit over, nigga. Back to reality, yeah, nigga. Back to reality <laughs> back, checks. Yeah, back to, back to the real shit, nigga. So y'all have fun one in that? Did y'all enjoy yourself? So, um, look. I, I thought LeBron will this team. And look, the Lakers right now, as uh, as as it stands right this very second, they're in sixth place. Uh, we were just talking about them not being in the play-in, being in the play-in to being in sixth place. And it's looking like they're getting much better. I don't know what's going on as far as LeBron willing them. I don't know if... Uh, coaching, I don't know if Anthony Davis got the memo that they want this to be the team because he looks sensational in the end season tournament. But Luca and them guys had other plans and said, "Look, y'all was taking that shit serious. We wasn't, and now it's back to regular season shit." Yeah, um, uh, AD had thirty seven and eleven. Went against Dallas. No big man though. What you talking about? Say that again. AD had 37 and 11. Against Dallas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying he maybe he got the memo. That's what yeah, I was saying. Yeah. Is that because, you know, the last couple of games, like, oh, maybe LeBron do want me to have the team, and then maybe it is my team. dun 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 dumb big man shit. So yeah. um, hopefully he, he keeps doing what he's doing so uh, this much pressure won't be on a 39-year-old man to will, when, will the team. But... It goes with D'Angelo Russell to old Bruce Brown. Yeah. You can't do it when the joke is in with you. And that's when it's going to count for AD. And that's where AD to have to stand up uh, when you play against the Joel Embiid's, when you play against the Jokers, when you play against the Giannis's. Because, listen, it was a time, and I know that we live in a what have you done today or what have you done for me lately uh, society but it was a time that they were considering AD top five players in, in the, the NBA, probably yeah. about four years ago, three, four, five years ago. So and it shouldn't they were even... trying to get him to LA. Right, exactly. So that's the reason he they wanted him. He was a top five player. And after that championship that the Lakers won, I don't really know what happened. Injuries, of course, happened, but um it didn't look like he wanted as much as LeBron James. You know, I you know, part of the complex interview that we did uh somebody tried to get it all three of us actually because they did uh and I, i'm thinking that we should start a show um makes um and, call, and we will have to change the name of it but they had all the people who would say good stuff about us on the show or bad stuff about us on the show or twitter or instagram so they got people's comments yeah. it's kind of like a rapid fire situation and I think that we would, we should, we should actually go, <laughs> go visit some of the, some of the shit that people are saying. Yeah. So basically, one of the questions was that, um, we were saying that we would rather have Bam out of bio over Anthony Davis, and they said that we were delusional for saying that, and put up eighties numbers. So they was like. What happened is I read their question, answered their question, and said, uh, da da da, y'all all said y'all have a BAM, so y'all must be delusional. And I said, nigga, you delusional. Because yeah. if BAM was playing with LeBron James, his numbers may just be better than AD if you yeah, played hey. with LeBron James. We have to take into consideration we're playing on LeBron James. Is not playing, no disrespect. Yeah, to, and if you ask a question yeah. that's open to a person's opinion, right? You're you're the idiot for judging their opinion. They supposed to have one, right? 
I mean, no, no one. I handled niggas. Oh, you handled. Oh yeah, yeah, I handled niggas. <laughs> okay. I definitely took care yeah. of business. <laughs> if nothing else, like, if nothing else happened, I definitely took back a business. I, I actually uh, play sound for yeah. you. What I told niggas, but yeah, I took care of business. They ain't gonna be talking to us all crazy. Yeah, but, for real. But um, yeah, I think that Anthony Davis uh, may have got the memo, but if it's not resulting in wins, it doesn't matter. But what I will say this about the Lakers is that I think that it's fucked up that those games didn't count on their record. As far as the end wow. season tournament, they don't count on their regular season record. So now you're playing extra games and it doesn't count. Not only that. How many extra games? Seven? I don't know how much you win. Yeah. So if you keep winning, you more games you play. But none of those in season games counted at the regular season on them Tuesdays and Fridays. And not only that, you don't get to make it. You don't make it to the playoffs. So it's like no guarantee. It's no guarantee of even they making it to the playoffs. champion. At get least get to, into the yeah. playoffs. But see, you know what's fucked up about that? That's a catch-22 because now they're like, well, we can take the rest of the season off basically because we're we guaranteed in the, in the playoffs. So that's something that they are going to have to figure out as well. Well, we're going to go to break, and when we return, we will talk about Jokic's ejection. Don't go anywhere. Pink horsepower. She called this thing if I was toxic. What's happening, baby? Baby, what's happening? Why you walking like that? That's how, that's how I walk. And then, like, you come on breathing on me like that. I fucking breathe to live. And, like, you used to be dark-skinned, and now you act like hella light-skinned. Are you fucking blind? I'm dark skinned. What, what the fuck? And then, like, look at your beard. What the fuck is your wrong with my looks beard? Stupid. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I don't even like it. The way you breathe in, all of that. Has this ever happened to you? Your girl seems to be mad, angry, upset. She's frustrated. It's only one way to handle that pink horsepower. <laughs> No, but your breath, your breath is really refreshing. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to give you a massage. Plus, have I told you how good your beard looks lately? It looks so good. No. PHP. It works every time. Wait, where are you going? Welcome back. So we've got two ejections to talk about in basketball. First one, Bulls lost to the Nuggets 114-106. to 106. Jokic was ejected for arguing with the ref. Although the Nuggets won, how do you feel about Jokic's ejection? A lot of people feel like refs are getting too involved. But what do you think? I was just about to say that. Yo, refs, y'all, this is, nobody comes to see y'all niggas. Yeah, like, y'all be in the way. Yeah, like, yo, y'all gotta chill. Like, I was just about to say that because there's been a few people who's been ejected this year. And if it's called for ejection, I get that. But what you're not taking into consideration is a family that saved their money up to see their favorite player that you're kicking out. They may have saved up their money last year to come see them this year, and you're kicking them out for them giving their opinion. That's the same thing I'll be so mad at players when they take games off or they're hurt because you're really doing these kids and parents and people who saved their money up to come see you guys play. Not everybody's rich and can afford floor seats. I have to sit on the floor. It's people who actually work hard to go to these games and see these players live. So as much as we get on players for taking nights off for low management or having a nerve. The refs. The nerve index in their pinky finger so they can't practice. The refs, y'all got to take this into consideration. This is not your show. This is not your show. This is for the fans and the people who came to see these players. Now, if they get out of line and get crazy, I dig it. But take that into consideration. I, I really wish y'all would. I'm sorry, Murder. Yeah, that's not nah, that's that. right. right. I think even when it comes to, like, the refs, uh, the way they be running down, the, I remember it used to be, like, two refs. Now it's three refs. Now it's the, the um... The playback is yeah. it's just like, bro, just let niggas play. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. Don't take right. all this. It's not football. Right. Yes. I agree more. Okay. 
And then during the Suns versus Warriors game, Draymond Green was ejected for the third time this season after a swing at Suns center Nurkic. Thoughts on his third ejection? I hate to see Draymond walking the street. <laughs> yo, yo I, I seen that slap, man. Watch your mouth. Yeah, yo. Yo, Draymond. Yeah. You know what you know would be funny about Draymond yeah. to me? That'd be hilarious about Draymond is that, you know, outside of the Jordan Poole situation, of course, is that every time Draymond does something, he kicks somebody or or elbow or whatever. It is. Yeah. <laughs> like last time he stepped on a nigga head and tried to jump over the nigga yeah. to say, he tries to make it basketball related. And <laughs> when you go to the instant replay, you can tell that this is definitely <laughs> like basketball. basketball related. Yo. But yo, let me, let me chime in for a moment. Yes. Doesn't everybody, no matter where you are, anybody looking at this, we all know a Draymond. If you're playing in the park, you know a Draymond. If you're in the YMCA, you know a Draymond. A nigga who's just a dirty player. No, nah, that shit he did to <laughs> last night was out of pocket. That was a full fetch bitch slap. I, yeah. That nigga, I may post that and put had ice verse behind that shit. <laughs> and I said, I slapped the bitch out you and put you on and put it on a whole straw. <laughs> like that's how he slapped that nigga Nurkis and Nurkis went down and. I know Draymond gonna say it was a basketball play, but yo, bro, yeah, watch not. this. Everybody's watching. It is what it is. Go in the comments and tag your friend who who does exactly <laughs> what Draymond does, yeah. and watch how many people be in there. No, I'm gonna keep it on, honey. You do that that last one. That, that's that's they gotta pull a pistol. <laughs> like yo, that was crazy, bro. That was a rare house <laughs> slap, my nigga. That shit was wild, bro. It didn't, it didn't. You know how when people used to get the <laughs> rebound and then just elbow somebody in the Yeah, yeah. At least range of motion. This bro, was like. Yo, bro. Bro, you just turned around and slapped them. Yo, that nigga Draymond is like the junkyard dog. He just put a nigga in the <laughs> chokehold. <laughs> he might need yeah. to do UFC. Draymond. Is he really out here fucking, yeah, he out here fucking niggas up. Do you think that, and I'm not saying he's seen it or didn't, but do you think he may have heard that we said he liked the bad boy pussy in 89? <laughs> <and> not, <laughs> this I is, don't know why I didn't think, think of that. This That's is, exactly <laughs> what he did. That was so Bill Lambert. Yeah, that, that, yeah. was, that was Bill Lambert, yeah. Rick Mahorn. Yeah, um, Rodman. Yeah, Sally. That was that type of shit that he just did. That was definitely the 1989 Pistons that... I just watched this now. Well, tag your friend in the comments that acts like Draymond. We want to see. That's yeah. all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, 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 like when they doing them two for five.